Hi, my name is Kisok Kim, and I'm going to introduce our IROS work, Remove and Revert, Static Point Cloud Map Construction Using Multi-Resolution Range Images. This is a joint work with my advisor, Ion Kim. In the most outdoor environments, dynamic objects are inevitable, and they are existing in the robot sensor data. The dynamic points deteriorate robot mission's performance. For example, at the right side, in this figure, robot is stopped, but the robot pauses from the light out metry is jittering because nearby dynamic objects in the complex urban sites. So our target problem is, in the offline, making a static map from a noisy point cloud. This can be considered as a classification for point-wise. We need to classify each input point as static or dynamic. From now, we introduce our method named Removert. Our basic dynamic removal pipeline is based on the range image. We assume we are using a modern 3D scanning LiDAR. And for a single query scan, a range image is acquired like this, and a single 3D point is related to each pixel. And a color of pixel indicates its range value. Red is further, and blue is near. In a similar way, with respect to the quarry robot pause, we can project surrounding map points and take a single range image of the map like this. Obviously, we can notice some noisy and floating points in the map range image. For the given quarry and the map range image, we can take a matrix subtraction between those two range images. Then the difference, or called discrepancy, range image is acquired. The red in the difference image means that a query ray could reach the beyond the map points. So the map points might be disappeared and should be marked as a dynamic. Our first contribution is to propose to use a multi-resolution range images to do the aforementioned range image-based dynamic points removal. From now, we give a detailed explanation about why the multi-resolution is required. To subtract a query range image to map range image, we assume those two range images are well aligned. In other words, pixels at the same location within each matrix is corresponding to the exactly same location within the 3D world. However, that assumption is mostly not achieved, because any state estimation algorithm or sensor has inherent errors. These errors are even existing when we use an expansive sensor such as RTK GPS with INS system. This figure is from the Kitty dataset, and the point cloud are stacked using the ground truth trajectory. But we can see the tree trunk was so thickened, thickened and they copied along the lateral direction. So, from the fact that we cannot guarantee the pixel to pixel correspondence is perfect, and the knife discrepancy would yield false removals. So, we need to modulate the query to map alignment sensitivity by using our method. So, by using our method, we can remove the ambiguous points as well as the dynamic points like this. So, how could we do that? The core idea, which is our second contribution, is using multiple sides of windows. This is actually implemented as a multi-resolution range images. For example, at the left side, a single pixel is about the 0.4 degree in the vertical and horizontal FOV. This final resolution of the range image more tends to remove falsely, but it is relatively least remover, so anyway good at removing dynamics. But our current goal is to retain more static points while only dynamic points are well removed. So for example, if we use a more coarser sized range image in here, 1 degree for a pixel, this could retain dynamic points, but less opportunity to have a mistake to remove static points. So now, the main question we need to answer is how to combine both fine and coarse range images. The question is rewritten like this, when do we need to use the final one, and when for the coarser one. 
Our stretch is removed. This method is composed of two modules. The first one is remover, and the second is re reverter. And the combination of them is named as removed. First, at the removing step, we require the point cloud map and corresponding rubber pauses as input. And the rubber pauses, which is not perfect, and estimated from modern LIDAR SLAM algorithms such as SLOAM. The input point cloud is divided into mutually exclusive two subsets, static map and a dynamic map. The point is, at this removing step, we use the highest resolution, that is the final one. Using the fine resolution of range images, the points tends to be removed as much as possible. So false removal of static points can be included in the dynamic map in this step. The second step is reverting. At this point, we conduct multiple iterative reverting steps by enlarging range images pixel size. And also we note that the dynamic map in the previous step is fed to the input point cloud of the next reverting step. So the originally marked dynamic map is again divided into two subsets, static and dynamic. The new static points are merged into the previous static map. So thanks to the coarsed range image, the falsely removed static points in the previous dynamic map could be remarked as a static at this reverting step. So the overall pipeline is again visualized. So this is removed. From here, we give uh, experimental results we provide a first qualitative example from Kitty Odometry dataset, which is the most popular data set for SLAM community. And this, in this experiment, our algorithms run about nearly 100 meter length of submap, and we use the scans equidistantly sampled about every two meter. The point cloud map visualized in here is made by stacking the blue dot pauses at the right figure. The rubber pauses are estimated by the SUMA algorithm, and we use a non-GT for stacking LiDAR map to allow the input map has internal state estimation ambiguity. In here, the number of total points is about 3 million. To remove the boundary scans dynamic points, we set number of query scans slightly larger than the map scans. The first removing step we can watch the dynamic points are already disappeared, but the static points such as ground is also largely included in the dynamic map. And we can repeat more removing steps with the same sized fine resolution of range images. This is up to users. Here, we are showing up to third removing steps. And from the next slide, we'll do the revertings. The first revert. We can see that many static points are reverted, while the dynamic points were retained in the dynamic map. This is a result from the second revert. And finally, we are showing here the third reverse result. We can see the static points, such as ground, are more reverted. This is our final output. The original map is divided into static map and dynamic map like this. In our algorithm, we do not assume any shape assumptions or point pre-processing such as region growing or fitting, etc but we can see any objects of arbitrary shapes, such as trees, was well retained without any assumptions or point cloud processing. Along the previous qualitative result, here we provide a quantitative result by using the semanticity as a ground truth of the dynamicity of points we track the pointwise true and false estimation over the remover situations. And here, we 
set arbitrarily three reputation for removing and seven iterations for reverting to track the tendency as much as possible. But we note that actually not even seven revertings are practically required. And here we define that static is positive and dynamic is negative. At the first removing steps, as are marked as uh, red boxes, we can see the dynamic points floating on the main road is well removed. But also the number of false negative points are simultaneously increased, which means falsely marked as dynamic. And this kind of false estimation is mostly on the ground or ambiguous registration reasons. But the aforementioned false predictions are well recovered through the reverse, while very few dynamic points are falsely reverted. Finally, we introduce our methods possible applications. After the static map construction is done, the query scan is then again compared to the static map, then the dynamic points in a scan is easily filtered. So without any prior assumptions, we can extract arbitrarily shaped urban objects like the right size, including car, bus, a woman with stroller, and bikes, and person, like this. And you can find our code from here. And we provide a two languages version, MATLAB and C++. In the future works, we would like to propose a metric for static map quality. And by using the quality metric, the auto-stopping module of reverting or reverting should be included in our system. And finally, our remover algorithm would be applied for the long-term change detection also. Thank you for watching our video and this work is supported by Naval Labs company and the National Research Foundation of Korea. Thank you.